This is a popular topic that several have sent in. I have an article here. Have you seen anything about purportedly the WWE reaction to AEW's blood and guts? I have not, actually. I'd be interested in if it is indeed proper information and not just uh, conjecture. I'd like to hear what they thought of that. Here's an article from a website called Heal by Nature. All Elite Wrestling presented their first Blood and Guts television special last week during Dynamite, with many in the industry providing various opinions on the main event cage match. According to Dave Shearer, a PW insider, WWE management was not happy with the match, with one person stating, quote, They just set the business back 30 years. When speaking with WWE wrestlers, they had an opposite reaction and, quote, would love to do something like that themselves. The day after the show... Oh, wait a minute. Which, which... Because does that mean that the WWE wrestlers want to fall onto phony crash pads? Or does that... The WWE, did they say it set the business back 30 years because they exposed everything? Or is the WWE's issue the violence and the WWE wrestlers want to do more violence? Well, the article concludes with, The day after the show, Ringside News got feedback from a tenured member of the WWE creative team, stating, quote, It was a bad image for the industry, especially the obvious blading. Well, I agree with that. Um, See, here's the thing. A lot of people were horrified at the match for all the wrong reasons. And I love Dave Sherry. He's a very nice man, but he's one of these, oh my God, don't use the blade. What the fuck? No, just fucking paralyze yourself and have back and neck surgeries and take ridiculous bumps. I would I would rather use a blade every Wednesday night than let three quarters of that roster touch me to give me any fucking bump because I wouldn't trust them. Because uh, they're... I'm surprised somebody has not gotten seriously injured with all the goofy shit they do for no reason, just even the multiple dives. Because people now are used to those things. Like, oh, he dove and he dove and he dove. It's a 200 and something pound sometimes, 200 and something pound man flying over the top rope and landing 10 feet below on a variety of people. You've got elbows and knees and feet flying at you. And what the fuck? Um... So I saw a column and Dave said they should use fake blood and movie blood. No, here's the goddamn thing. What sets the business back is not the violence. That's what kept the business in business for a hundred fucking years till we took all the violence out of it. So those fucking pussy goddamn dickless comedy writers in the WWE can go piss up a rope. The violence is what people want out of fucking wrestling. I agree with, seeing the blade setting the wrestling ba- business back 30 years because it, it's like you've the crash pad. It's an insult. It's an affront. It's you've, you've shown the people the, the illusion, the quarter didn't disappear. It's not in your fucking ear kid. It's in, in between my fingers. Cause I'm a lousy magician. And you know that now. So, they're all in a variety. They're they're all looking at it in their own direction, but they have the fucking they have their priorities backwards. I don't give a fuck about bloodborne diseases, especially the WWE. They're all tested out the ass. In AEW, they've got enough money to fucking test them. If I was Tony Khan, I'd test everybody and prevent them from working any goddamn independent goofy shit like so many of them want to fucking do, where they have any blood on them, and then you're fine. But I'd a whole lot rather guys that know how to do it and can disguise it getting juice to add heat to fucking programs instead of a bunch of fucking phony gymnastics. Uh, so yes, they did set the business back with the illusion exposing crash pad and the fact that everybody seemed to be in Jericho's case, so out of practice or in the rest of their cases, so inexperienced, they can't fucking hide things properly. If you, if you can't do the sleight of hand, don't call yourself a magician. Um, but it is a little for, rich, though. I mean, WWE. I mean, it's one thing if you are someone who's been a good barometer of taste and things to help the business. But for WWE to accuse AEW of doing something to set the business back, 
After all this Alexa Bliss and Fiend shit we've been watching. Well, for. yeah, and see that because that to them that's entertainment, and they do and, and like Vince says, I don't want it all the all that old wrestling stuff with the blood and everything. Yes, that's what people want. They just want to believe it when it happens. So over here at AEW, they got a bunch of guys that either can't or won't make the shit believable, but they have the freedom to do it. And unfortunately, the guy that giving them that freedom doesn't know how to call the right spots, the right places for it to be done. And over in the WWE, those guys want to break loose and not be a- appealing to fucking eight-year-olds mentally. They want to do more violent shit and bleed a little bit and whatever the fuck, but they're up there in fucking romper room land. But if they got to AEW and were allowed to do that, they'd also be in a place where everybody else is, we've obviously just heard earlier, is allowed to do everything else they want to do too, so it's all meaningless. It's all about context, and it's the right people doing the right thing. And if everybody wants to know my opinion on it, I think if you have to use fake blood, don't have fucking blood. That's bullshit. As I've mentioned before, I used fake blood a couple of times on fucking mouth injuries where you could spit some fucking blood out because you got popped in the mouth but and even then i kind of held my nose and did it um but if it, it no because that's what everybody always used to, oh the blood's fake well it wasn't motherfucker and they never could prove that it was and then suddenly we started using fake blood and then, then everybody's you. You made everybody that ever knocked wrestling right. So no, no fake blood ever. Use real fucking blood in the right way without broadcasting it on national television, or don't have blood. But sometimes you need blood. In that case, find people that can give you blood properly. And I would, I would, I would take, I would pull way back on the goddamn ridiculous bumps that nobody believes because they're all set up and contrived by mutual cooperation that might end up paralyzing somebody, and I'd get them a little more familiar with their fucking foreheads. Somebody might believe this shit again. And uh, as, you know, like I said, as so the WWE thinks they're setting the business back with blood and violence when actually that's the only thing that people want to fucking see. They just want it to be believable. I say they set the business back because they showed everybody what they were fucking doing. Yeah, meanwhile, the part of the match they probably found embarrassing, the actual wrestling and brawling and fighting and bleeding, that was the part I was okay with. I, yeah, that was the I, best part. I liked the match until Jericho came in and then the bump at the end, and those are probably the two things WWE creative or whoever is commenting here would enjoy the most. Yeah. They don't, because that's a, the WWE, when you get people in positions to write the show that have never been involved in the business and have never been in the ring, then naturally they say, oh yes, the guy should fall on a crash pad. And oh no, he shouldn't cut his head with a razor blade. When in actuality, the opposite is exactly what they should have done. They shouldn't have fallen on a crash pad and they should have cut their heads with razor blades because it's easier than busting yourself open for real or taking some goofy bump that ends you up in a fucking iron lung. Good God, these fucking people are driving me out of my mind. Hey, do you remember, were you there the first time Vince used the blade? Uh, I believe so. Wasn't that, when was that? Is what, what it, 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 was it the match with Austin or the deal he did with Austin or when was it? I the think f- so. I mean, that's, I'm, I have like a moment in my head yeah. that I'm thinking of. I don't remember all the specifics, but all of a sudden here's Vince using a blade. Yeah. All right. Well, that was that question. Yeah. We now the, move on to the next one. What the fuck you think? You think he's going to say, hey, Steve, hard way me. No, because he's smart and he knows the wrestling business. And Vince McMahon that night, Mr. McMahon needed to bleed. So it's the easy way to fucking do that. Good Lord. The, see, everybody has. That's why that people from outside wrestling, your natural instincts are the opposite of the mindset you should have in wrestling. People, oh, my God, it's terrible to cut yourself with a razor blade. But those same people are like, 
Oh, wow, look at that beautiful dive that guy did. Not knowing that there is way more risk for way more serious injury on that dive, the difference is between are you going to get killed fucking skydiving or are you going to get killed laying in fucking bed and have an airplane crash on your house? What's the chances? I'll take lying in my bed and an airplane crashing on my house. That's the difference in one of the, getting hurt on one of those dives versus just getting a little color. 